a surprising amount of sexual tension. Someone obviously watched Fight Club before they wrote this movie, and when is the worst? This oh. is Torchwood. Episode whatever I forgot. I've just called this episode Fight Club. Because this is Fight Club. Episode 11. I, I meant the title. Oh, right. You quickly explain what happens. Okay, so... Yeah, Gwen is ab absolutely the worst. Okay, well, first off... Combat. We... Combat, there we go. Okay, so first off, we are... Um, they... Jack and... Um, the alien from the first episode and like second episode, like basically they are the aliens that made some appearances. Weevils. Every time it says that, I'm expecting them to go <laughs> and with their bug cards, mm. Weevil Underwood. Hmm. Right. Um, all right, so Jack and I think it was the computer girl. No, it was Jack on. It was Jack on his own because the rest of the team had taken the time off. Yeah, right. Um, <clears throat> because Gwen's with her boyfriend. boyfriend. Oh, I swear, I keep thinking it's her husband. But what happens is that they go on a date. They're at a dinner. Gwen's basically thinking of everything else. That's right. Yeah. Else. And they're chasing another weevil. It's not the one that we see in episode one. It's just what. It's just another weevil. It's mm -hmm. another one of their species. Captain Jack is um losing. Is chasing after it and they lose track of it. Gwen then sees Jack and Jack runs into the restaurant and asks, Sorry to interrupt, I'm interrupting this, but Gwen, we need your help right away. You say that, though I can't decide, are they in a restaurant or are they outside? That's um, the thing I'm really questioning about. Mm. I don't know if they're in a restaurant or inside. They were, def I, they oh, were in a restaurant, I definitely remember they were in the but restaurant. But the problem is they didn't go through a door. Yeah, that thing. That's the thing that's making me question. Because, like, the shots we see, it looks like they're inside a restaurant, but the fact that neither of them go through fucking doors? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But basically, the boyfriend's like, don't fucking do this. And then Gwen's like, don't, don't speak to me like that. And I'm like, you don't tell him what you do. You have the most weirdest work schedule ever, ever. And for all he knows, you're cheating on him with Jack. Mm. So, you are cheating on him, and two, I'm surprised it's not with Jack, especially episode, what was it, two, when they were doing the gun practice, and I'm surprised they didn't fuck right there. It was two. So, to be honest, he's well within his right to be a little bit pissy with you. Yeah. Uh, 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 then, what happens is that uh, the Weevil ends up getting taken by a bunch of guys in ski masks, Drives off and they're trying to figure out what happened. They call Tosh and the butler. And then they try to call uh, Owen, but Owen's not answering. He's a bar again, shit faced. Ace, a girl talks to him, her boyfriend fights him, gets his ass handed to him, and then he leaves. Remember how I've said that all the Torchwood episodes, other than a couple, feel like they are out of order and you could watch them anytime you want? Yeah. This episode obviously takes place. Or right after. Yep. So then, while the heroes are breaking into Galactus's body, uh, where Watts's face is held up, up uh, with if sh Cap Shield, Superman still can't break through the wall. So oh, Thor's like, "Oh wait, take this!" Flings me on the air, and Superman picks it up. Well, uh, and of course Superman's worthy, and then we get the iconic shot of Superman with me on the and Cap Shield. Yeah, that actually does exist. There's a real comic. I know. Avengers vs. Justice League. That is so it's cool. It's fucking great. We're doing that for the channel. Oh, yeah. Look, we needed to make a gag. You were going to notice the obvious cut. Anyway. Uh, so, boyfriend beat up. up, And this episode obviously takes place after the last episode. And Owen's destroyed. Well, obviously, because he's lost the, the woman only he girl. loved. The after, only girl. A, after a week of all we know they did was visit an airfield, do some dancing, and fucked. But this was the only girl he actually had feelings for. I mean, this Again, was this time. is a week. <sighs> hey, look, never mind. Owen's a complicated character. Very. He's become our favourite somehow, even after episode one. Yeah. I don't know how this is possible. Hmm. 
Never, anyway. Look, the whole thing with Owen is that he doesn't want to go work. He wants to drink his life away, all that jazz. He ends up having to go to Uruk, and what they plan on doing is that they make a website of Owen wants to sell fish, and he needs a warehouse at the district. It, so he goes to the place to promote it, to like try and get the warehouse, at, but he's actually using something with a computer to get all the information. And then when the guy after Owen leaves is like, yeah, this sounds shady as fuck, goes onto the website, uh, and Tosh is like, oh, he'll go on the website, he'll see customer reviews, he'll see this video, all this. Because remember how we said in episode one, it seemed like Torchwood had done this all before when they were dealing with Gwen? Yeah. This is great. I love this idea that Torchwood have done this shit so often that they know everything off the top of their head. Yeah. Ed, uh, I don't know if this is exactly when we get it, but I might as well talk about it. The worst Gwen moment ever. Big time! Now. Here's the thing, we see previews of these episodes after it on her next time. It's Gwen revealing that she's been cheating on on her boyfriend. boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Now, I had said that halfway through the episode that Gwen is the fucking worst. Mm-hmm. And you said, oh, but we saw in this preview that she reveals, so maybe she's improving. I'm like, all right, fine. No! Ten, no! Oh no! She does reveal her. She does reveal that she's cheating on her boyfriend. Well, no, she does. She, we're just not adding the rest that make the whole thing worth it. Let's open the scene, shall we? Yes. She's pouring two drinks. Yes, a nice casual drink with your yes. boyfriend. Some casual scotch. No, it's because he's come back after going to a strip club, all this jazz, usual shit, yada yada yada. He has a drink, and then she just flat out says, oh yeah, I've been seeing her. I'm like, oh, this could actually be half good. She's just going out, and she's, go she's also going to say her what she wants with aliens and all this shit, yeah. and just tell him everything. But... She slipped in one of those, halu those amnesia pills. And he forgets. No, no, I, no. You. you it, oh no. The I, reason why she does that is because she wants, wants him, him to, to say be. it's okay. She wants him to say it's okay, and while he's basically passing out because of the pills, he's ba she's basically slapping him awake, telling him it's okay. And I'm just like, you're a terrible person, Gwen. Fuck you. I and when he passes out, he does. She. He never forgave her before no, passing out, so... He doesn't des she doesn't deserve to be given. No, does not. Really does not. Like, I swear to God, he better find out and leave her. Alright. I don't you. know how it ends, but I, he better fucking leave her. Hopefully, but, at the end, maybe at the end of the season or something, he might finally reveal himself or something. Or maybe, is, maybe even the next episode. Is he in the Doctor Who episode? No. Okay. Just Gwen and the butler and Jack. Alrighty, then. But anyway, after that, well, we've kind of gone a bit iffy. Uh, yeah, Owen ends up talking to the guy who ran the real estate and goes to his house, and essentially it's a lot of sexual tension. Hmm, we actually thought those two were doing it. No, I thought that. You said no. Yeah, well, I didn't want to believe it, but when it kept going on, you know, yeah, like it was all the like I like I swear God, like five more minutes, those two would have been fucking. Mm hmm. And we know Owen's bisexual. Yeah. And a rapist, but that's beside the point. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so then he reveals he has nailing caught up and it's, well... But after staying in an awesome room with weapons... Yeah, uh, yeah, I needed to comment that. He has a good selection of weapons. Like, my dude, you're an asshole. You're abusing aliens. You got good weapons, so always forgiven. Respect. Mm-hmm. But, 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 but... but what happens is that he basically goes, oh yeah, we had this underground fight club. And I was like, they're going to a fight club. Uh, right before this, yeah, it's fight club. People who, people watched the movie Fight Club mm. uh, before they wrote this, I need to show you Fight Club before you to understand. But basically, the main attraction is you pay a thousand pounds and you try and last as long as you can with an, the alien, the weevil. Uh, the guy puts a gun at Owen's face. And then to say to do it, and then Owen's like, put the gun down, I'll go down. Owen goes in there and looks like he's about to fight. Captain Jack comes in, then Owen gets distracted and then starts getting mauled. Uh, ends up leaving it. 
Uh, Captain Jack ends up shooting the alien in the arm, um, and the alien fucks off. But then uh, the main bad guy, or bad guy, goes into the cage and gets mauled to death after Captain Jack lets him. And then the episode ends with Captain Jack being the biggest douche fucking possible. <clears throat> Owen basically said, I wanted to fucking die. I and he's in the The hospital. minute I went into that cage, I actually felt... Yeah. Alive. And then Captain Jack says, no, fuck you, go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, we get him in the cell and he scares aliens, but essentially the episode ends with Jack telling him, yeah, but fuck your feelings. Right, the whole reason the guy gets mauled by the aliens... Is it's because Jack lets him. Yeah, and also because he then realises that um, everything's over, yeah. and that he also noticed that Owen was not at all afraid in that cage, and he... and the bad guy thought, jeez Louise. Mm. Yeah. And Overall... Other than Gwen really fucking infuriated me, which is surprising because I thought she was the best throughout most of these episodes. Mm -hmm. This episode's good. Might be a fair favourite. Yeah. The question is, is this better than the 50s, the episode beforehand? Mm. Eh. Mm. No. Okay, so third. Third, yeah. yeah. I would have to go for third. Nothing tops that uh, the episode before it. Yeah. And no, no, that's was... speechless. Yeah, but speechless. I... There was one episode that topped it, and that was they keep killing Susie. I fucking love that. It was episode. so good. It was yeah. so good. But anyway, this episode was good. Yes, good. definitely. So I've been the Scottish Nerd, and I've been the Super Ultra Ranger. This was Torchwood. Gwen, you're the worst. Can you do what another Gwen famously did, and just you know, end up on the Golden Gate Bridge? Oh, mm. you should know the rest. Don't worry. They've reused it enough times.